Today is uh, a way of getting youth together to talk about their future, uh, to look at a student code of conduct. And with this student code of conduct, we're starting to uh, get a better sense of how we actually look at rights and responsibilities. So what are the rights of a student to have today uh, in any school, in any situation? So the rights around learning, the rights around identity, the right to not be bullied. I witness a lot of bullying when it's online. I see a lot of negative comments coming from people. Kids are quite targeted on social media and they shouldn't be because that's not what it's for. It's to have fun and unfortunately all kids can't do that. Bullying can happen much easier uh, outside of school. It's much more persistent uh, than ever before. So that's a real difference between bullying and what we know as cyberbullying. I think that each person should use social media for what it was originally designed with connecting with people. And if you're going to use social media as a method of vilifying, assaulting, bullying other people, then you're using it wrong. Online bullying doesn't really have to be um, you saying a rude comment, it could be by something you posted that might offend someone. I can't say I've really ever been cyber bullied, but I know of people who have, and I never really know what to do about it. It won't solve all your problems, what's said is said and what's done is done, but you can solve it to the best of your abilities by, you know, blocking the person, deleting them, and in the first place, just don't post or say anything that would offend anybody. We have to ultimately come together to say, you know, how do we actually preserve these rights? How do we ensure that every single person today has these rights as inalienable, as something that, uh, that we're all allowed to basically protect and preserve for one another? We have an anti-bullying group in our school, which we like put out awarenesses and we let people know that we're there to help. Well, right now what I'm doing is doing a poster campaign, um, just hanging up posters. Um, with information to educate the students so it's really important to educate so then maybe we can stop harmful behaviors before they start. I try to watch what I say but when I see people be bullied or negative comments I always try and back up the person who's being bullied. Just be respectful and be courteous and think about who else could see this or who else could be affected by it. And so ultimately this is really about how do we actually create safe spaces for our kids how do we create encouraging, um, uh, inclusive uh, spaces that everyone feels good about? I think number one thing I've learned is to definitely never be shy about how you feel. If you want to change something, go out and do it.